get into our uh, deep stretch workout today. So we're gonna do our dynamic warm up, followed by three different flows. We'll go through those flows a couple times, um, working on getting deeper into that stretch uh, the second time we go through. So let's start with some neck circles. I'm just gonna start standing and um, neck circles, you're pointing your nose and drawing your nose in a circle, bringing your neck with it. Go slow and be intentional with this. So um, notice where anything is tense, where it feels good to stretch it out and just play with it a little bit. Find out what works, what works best for you, what range of motion is best for you. I'm going to reverse the direction of my circle. We're being mindful here that when we tilt our head back, we're not overextending, not to put too much pressure on our necks, just enough to loosen it up a little bit. Let any tension go. I carry lots of tension in my shoulders and my neck and the back of my neck. So starting to loosen that up a little bit. Let's move on to wrist circles. So move your wrists in a circular motion here. You can um, play around with this again, how big those circles are with your wrists. Um, make sure you're switching directions. Do this kind of at your own pace here. Again, finding what feels good. I've been focusing on trying to increase my wrist strength. So this should help with that. Let's bring it to arm circles. So with arm circles, arms in a T shape, palms face down, fingertips point out to each side. Let's start with small circles forward and get bigger each time we go working through your full range of motion. Maybe one spot feels a little bit better than others, so you stick there for a couple circles before you move on. My biggest range of motion feels best, so that's where I'm sticking today. And when you're ready, let's reverse directions, starting small again, working your way through. Getting nice and big here now. And shake that out. Let's do core twists. So if you wanna have your hands on your hips, you can. If you wanna do cactus arms, goalpost arms, you can as well. Let's twist our chest to face right, come back center, twist our chest to face left. The challenge here to get the most twist out of your core is to keep your hips facing forward your lower body still as you twist your upper body from side to side. This is a spine twist, this is a core twist. And shake that out, release your arms by your sides. Let's move to high knees. So high knees and doing so, we're stretching out the backs of our legs here, our hamstrings, taking it nice and slow. Getting the backs of our legs nice and warmed up for all that is to come. Moving through your range of motion your speed, your pace. And let's switch those high knees to glute kicks here. So we're going from stretching the backs of our legs, our hamstrings to the fronts of our legs, our quads, our thighs. Keeping that knee pointed down as you kick your heel back to your bottom is going to increase that stretch for you. So knee should stay the same place in space while your lower leg kicks back. All right, shake that out. We're gonna go into our windmill toe touches. So this is kind of an all for one uh, stretch here. So 
Toes are gonna point forward, feet are wider than shoulder width apart, but still comfortable. Arms in that T-shape. Hinge forward at the waist, sticking your hips back. Opposite hand reaches towards opposite foot. So left hand to right foot, right hand to ceiling. Come back up, right hand to left foot, left hand to ceiling. And move through at your own pace, keeping this dynamic, keeping it moving. This is warming up the backs of our legs all the way through to our calves. We're doing a spine twist and a hinge forward, so that gets our hips and our spine involved. We're using our arms to twist, shoulders opening. Really working on a lot of things with this stretch. Get a couple more in here. And let's move to side lunges with an overhead reach. So let's keep our feet wider than shoulder width apart, toes point forward. Hinge your waist back and bend your right knee. Keep your left leg straight. Reach your left arm up and over to the right and then we switch. Straighten both legs, bend your left knee, reach your right arm up and over your head. So a side lunge with an overhead reach. Really sinking your bottom back. We're getting a side stretch here, and we're also firing up our glutes, our hamstrings. Remember to take your time through this. My body naturally wanted to speed it up, <laughs> but that's not what we're doing here. Finish on the side that you did not start on, even yourself out. Let's go into calf raises or heel raises. So hold on to something if you need. Heels both go up and then heels both go down option to alternate one heel after the other if doing both at the same time sets you off balance. This is good this for... Is the one I find I can't do. Really? My back hurts so bad and the tingling goes all the way down into my feet that if I go up on my toes, my ankles come up, I fall over. Yeah, then definitely don't do this one. If you want to replace this with another stretch, you can stick your, go against a wall, stick your toes oh, yeah. on the wall and your heel away from it, and then lean forward, lean back, just to keep it dynamic, but that'll stretch your calves out. That's right, that's right. All right. And we can move to ankle circles. So balance on one leg, lift the other leg, and just do some ankle rotations. Both directions, full range of motion, tiny, big, whatever you're working with. And when you're ready, switch, balance on your other leg, lift your other ankle off the ground and circles. And take this time to stretch out anything else that you need before we get into our deeper stretch. So if anything still feels tight, not warm, not ready to go to the next step, take this time to work that out. I'm getting a drink of water here and we'll go into our flow number one. So we're gonna get into our tabletop position. So hands underneath shoulders, knees underneath hips. And we're gonna do a wrist stretch. So keep your palms faced down, but take your left hand and twist your fingers so that they point back at you. So your forearm faces forward, fingertips face you. And um, don't put too much pressure, right? So our right hand can take most of our pressure, but put as much as it feels good to stretch that inside of your wrist.
and shake that out. Let's switch. So um, left hand goes back to neutral. Twist your right fingertips to point back towards you, palm face down, forearm faces forward. All right, shake that out. Maybe do some wrist circles here. And we're gonna go into our fire hydrant hip circles on our right side. So we'll stay in this tabletop position, knees underneath hips, hands underneath shoulders. Keep the bend in your right knee. And we're just gonna draw circles with our right knee. So bring them forward towards your chest, outward, back, and come forward once again. So just drawing circles. Mine kind of are more like a D shape, the letter capital D, um, because my left leg is in the way of getting that full circle. And reverse directions. Hip mobility, trying to keep our back flat here by pulling our belly button to our spine. And let your right knee come back down. We're gonna go into downward dog to three-legged dog. So curl your toes under, send your hips to the sky. Downward dog. Goal here is to get your heels closer to the ground and push your hips back so that your head becomes head comes between your arms. If you'd like to pedal out your legs here, feel free. That's straightening one leg while bending the other and then switching. And now take your, straighten your left foot, um, or your left leg, raise your right leg to the sky behind you. And we are getting ready for our pigeon pose. So from this downward dog, right leg in the sky, bend your right knee in towards your chest and then shift more towards a plank position. Rest your right knee down on the ground and then rest your left leg down on the ground. So left leg goes straight behind you. Right knee comes by your right hand, your right wrist. And this is gonna be stretching out your glutes. So goal here is to try to get your, you have your right knee behind your right wrist. You're gonna to try to work your right ankle towards your left wrist. Uh, and that will open your hip just a little bit more. And you have the option here to stay on your hands or you can sink down to your forearms, bringing your chest closer to the ground. That'll get you deeper into the stretch. Nice deep breaths, breathe into it. And when you're ready, come back up, bring both feet back to your downward dog. And when you're ready, come back to that tabletop position. We will repeat it on our left side. So for our left side, let's do our fire hydrant hip circles. So stay in your tabletop, left knee comes forward towards your chest, points outwards to the side, points behind you, comes back in. So drawing circles or a backwards D shape with your left knee. Hip mobility. Getting ready for that deep hip stretch that we will do in our pigeon pose and switch directions. He goes back out and then forward. Again, pulling our belly button to our spine, keeping our low back protected and stabilized. All right, and rest your left leg. Let's go into our downward dog. Hips to the sky, legs and arms straight. Heels towards the ground. Pedal out your legs if you need to. And 
And when you're ready, swing your left leg straight up to the sky, three-legged dog. And then bend your left knee, bring it in towards your chest, plank position. Let your left knee drop to the ground. Let your right leg extend straight on the ground. From here, you have your left knee behind your left wrist, trying to work your left ankle towards your right wrist. Option to come down to your forearms for a deeper stretch. Pigeon stretch. Take a nice deep breath. With every exhale, releasing tension. And come back into your downward dog, releasing that and coming to your tabletop. We move to cat cow. So for cow, dip your belly low, nose points forward. For cat, push through your palms, arch your back, tuck your chin to your chest, move through at your own pace. to a neutral spine so no dips or curves in your back pull your belly button to your spine take your right hand and open it to a T then raise your right hand towards the ceiling behind you you might twist your chest to the right a little bit and then come through you're going to take your right hand and thread it between your left arm and your left knee bringing your sh right shoulder to the ground your right ear to the ground my bottom stays in the air. A little spine twist. Upper back stretch. And come back through. Let's do cat cow once more. Moving through cat cow at your own pace. Belly low, spine high. are the last moves of our flow number one. When you're ready, come to a neutral spine, belly button pulls in, open your left arm to a T, then rotate, bring your left arm up towards the ceiling, your chest rotates towards the left. And when Ow. you're ready, take your left arm, thread it between your right arm and your right leg. Let your left shoulder come towards the ground, left ear come towards the ground. Spine twist, upper back opener. and come on out of that. That is the end of flow number one. Shake anything out that you need. I'm gonna get a sip of water and we continue. We go to flow number two. For flow number two, let's get into a low or a deep lunge. So with that, that just means that our back knee is gonna be on the ground. So start kneeling. Take your right foot and step it forward. Then shift your hips forward so that you start to feel a hip opener stretch in the front of your hip. So like where your hip and your leg meet. Your right knee should be stacked over your right ankle. If you need to take it, a, take your right foot a step further to get that opening in your left hip, feel free. My left leg is well, the bottom of my left leg behind my knee. Everything below my knee is on the ground. From here, if you need to come up a little bit out of the stretch, you can. Let's twist towards our right knee. So twist your chest to the right. 
you want to put your hands in a prayer position as you twist you can otherwise you can use your hands for balance and stability and come out of that now you're going to shift your hips back to straighten your right leg and point your right toes towards the sky so you hit hinge your hips back right leg straight right toes to the sky i have to put my hands kind of down by the floor on each side of my legs to balance a little bit but if you can sit up taller that's best and come out of that come back to kneeling and we switch sides left foot forward steps forward and your right leg stays back shift your hips forward to feel a stretch where your right hip and the top of your right leg meet hip flexors left knee should be tracking over your left ankle chest is nice and tall my hands are just resting on my left thigh have your hands on your hips or wherever you need for balance. And when you're ready, let's add that twist. So turn your chest towards the left. If you want to put your hands in prayer position, you can, or you can just have your hands wherever they help you for balance. untwist face forward shift your hips back to straighten your left leg left toes point towards the ceiling big stretch through the back of your left leg my hands come down my fingertips are reaching towards the ground on each side of my leg just for balance but if you can remain sitting a little bit straighter up that's best out of that we'll go through that another time on each side so getting into your kneeling position right foot steps forward right knee tracks over your left your right ankle shift your hips forward low lunge nice deep breaths trying to get deeper into the stretch this time we've already been through it once Breathing every exhale into any tension. Let your shoulders relax if you hold tension in your shoulders like I do. <laughs> All right, add that twist. So come up out of the stretch a little bit if you need. Twist your chest towards the right. Unwind, shift your weight back, straighten your right leg, right toes to the sky. My hands come down on each side of my leg to help with balance. Big stretch through the entire back of your right leg. And when you're ready, right foot steps back to kneeling and we do it our last time through on our left side. Left foot steps forward shift your hips forward left knee over left ankle stretch in your hip flexor where your hip and your leg meet nice deep breaths try to keep that chest up and twist to your left Option for hands in a prayer, option to have your hands on your legs for balance, trying to keep your chest lifted. And untwist, shift your weight back, left leg goes straight, left toes to the ceiling, reach fingertips down to each side of your leg for balance if you need, if not, Keep your chest up. Mm -hmm. 
and release. Come back to kneeling. We are going to go into our seated pigeon. So um, we did the pigeon stretch. Now we're just doing the seated version. So this is called seated pigeon. This is also called figure four stretch. So I'm sitting on my bottom, feet flat on the floor, knees pointed towards the ceiling. My hands are underneath my shoulders. And my fingertips are pointing forward, palms down. Take your right uh, leg and take your right, the outside of your right ankle and rest it on your left thigh as close to your knee as is comfortable. So this forces your right knee to point out towards the right and open your hip in that joint. From here, we have options. Leaning forward is going to increase the stretch. Trying to um, manually, just with your leg muscles, point your knee out further to the right will increase the stretch. And then you also have the option to release your hands from behind you, supporting you, and lay your lower back on the ground. And then hug, take both your hands and hug your left thigh in towards your chest. Um, and that will help you get a little bit closer as well using gravity to your advantage. Nice deep breaths. Flex both of your feet here to get the stretch into the muscle. You'll notice a difference if you point versus flex your feet. And when you're ready, come back up to a seated position. We're gonna do a seated twist. So extend your left leg long on the ground. Take your right foot and you wanna place your right foot on the outside of your left leg. So your knee is moving across your body. Then you'll twist your body to the right. You can use your left arm here to kind of assist you by using the back of your left arm to kind of push against your the outside of your right leg to help you get deeper into that twist. and release. Let's go to do this on our uh, left side. So feet flat on the floor, knees pointed towards the ceiling, hands underneath shoulders, fingertips face forward, palms face down. Outside of your left ankle comes to your right thigh, as close to your knee as is possible. This is gonna open your hip joint. Options here are to, with your own leg strength, you're going to try to point your left knee further to the left. That'll increase your stretch. Leaning forward will increase your stretch or option to lay on your back and hug your left or hug your right thigh in closer towards your chest using gravity to help you. Stretching out those glutes, those hips. Deep breaths. Deeper with every exhale. And coming back to your seated position, if you did lie down, uh, right leg goes straight. We're gonna go into our twist. So right leg straight on the ground, left foot comes to the outside of your right leg. And then you'll twist your torso to the left and again, you can use the outside of your right arm to help guide your twist by pushing the outside of your right arm into the outside of your left leg. Keeping your chest nice and tall. And untwist. We'll go through our seated pigeon on each side once more. So starting feet flat on the floor, knees point towards the ceiling. Seated pigeon on the right side. Right outside of right ankle comes to top of left thigh. And take your options. Either hinge your chest forward, lay back on the ground, hug your left knee in, or 
use your leg strength to point your right leg out further to the right. When you're ready, come back to that seated position if you left it. Your left leg extends long on the ground, right foot points to plants on the outside of the left leg, chest twists to the right. Spine twist. And release, left side. Feet flat on the floor, knees point towards the ceiling. Outside of left ankle goes on right thigh. Options here, hinge forward, point left knee out towards the left or lie back and hug your right thigh in towards your chest. Getting deeper this time as we go through, really feeling those releases with every exhale, noticing any tension that we're still holding and releasing that. And if you left your seated position, come back to it. Extend your right leg long on the ground. Left foot plans on outside of right leg. Twist your torso to the left. deep breaths. And release. That is the end of our second flow. So we move into flow number three. I'm going to get a sip of water. And we come to a seated position. You can either be in a butterfly or cross-legged. I'm going to be cross-legged. We're going to do a seated side body stretch. So I'm gonna put my left hand down by my left hip, reach my right arm up and over to the left, stretching out the right side of my body. I have a bend in my left arm as I hinge over to give my body that space to move in. and switch right hand comes down left arm goes up and over to the right left side body stretch and release we're going to go into happy baby next so we're going to lay on our backs Hug your knees in towards your chest, and then hug your knees to each shoulder outside of each rib cage. Then take your the bottoms of your feet, keeping your legs bent, and point those bottoms of your feet towards the ceiling. Option here to hug the backs of your thighs in towards the outsides of your rib cage, or option to grab the insteps or outsteps of your feet to pull those knees closer get that opening stretch. Take a nice deep breaths here. Feel free to rock side to side, rock forward and back if that feels good to you. Now release your legs and you're gonna let your left leg go long on the ground and you're gonna hug your right knee in towards your chest. If you'd like to do some ankle circles while you're here, feel free with your right ankle. And 
now take your right knee and just point it outwards towards your right shoulder. And that'll increase the stretch on the inside of your thigh. Now take the um, take your left hand to the outside of your right leg and your right arm is gonna go to a T on the ground. Use your left hand to guide your right leg over to the other side of your body. Um, so right knee goes towards the ground by your left hip. Stop wherever you need to be comfortable. My knee doesn't quite hit the floor, so it's okay if yours doesn't either. Point your nose to the right. Shoulder opener, spine twist, glute stretch. And release. Bring both knees to your chest and just rock it out. Shake your spine out here. And we go into a forward fold before we repeat on the other side. So go ahead and sit up nice and tall. Legs are straight in front of you. Reach for your toes. Nice deep breaths. If you wish, on an inhale, sit up nice and tall. And on your next exhale, reach further into your stretch. Can you reach further? Can you release that tension? And come back up. We're going to sit cross-legged again or in your butterfly. Either one is fine. And we'll do our side body stretch. Left hand comes down to the ground. Right hand comes up and over towards the left. Right side body stretch. And bring your right arm down by your hip. Left arm goes up and over. breaths. And come out of that, we go back into our happy baby pose, lying on our backs, hug your knees in towards your chest, then point your knees out past each shoulder. Now open the bottoms of your feet towards the ceiling, keeping that bend in your knees. Option to hug behind your thighs, bringing your knees in closer to you, or grabbing the insteps or the outsteps of your feet to drive those knees back down. The further apart your feet and knees get, the deeper, the more intense the stretch becomes. Feel free to rock forward, backward, side to side. Nice deep breaths. When you're ready, release your legs. Hug your left knee in towards your chest and let your right leg go long. Feel free to do some left ankle circles, rotations here. And now pull your left knee more towards your left shoulder or the outside of your rib cage to change 
the stretch just a little bit. Left arm goes to a T, right arm goes to the outside of that left leg. Slowly guide your left leg over towards the right side of your body. Point your nose to the left. Shoulder, spine, glute stretch. Release that, hug both knees into your chest, rock it back and forth, side to side, forward and back. Before you roll up to a seated position or our forward fold, go ahead and reach forward towards your toes, legs long extended in front of you. Option to inhale, sit tall, and exhale, release. And come out of that. We go into the second part of our float three, starting with seated butterfly. So soles of your feet or bottoms of your feet together in front of you, knees are bent, pointed out towards either side. Options here, pull your uh, feet in closer to your body, point your knees out further to the sides, hinging forward at the waist, all to get deeper stretches. Release your right leg straight and long and let your right hand come down towards your right leg. Left hand goes up and over towards the right, stretching out the left side of your body in addition to maintaining this leg stretch. When you're ready, rotate so your nose points to your right knee, both hands reach towards your right toes. seated let's switch sides left leg goes long right leg bends and comes in left arm rests down by your left leg right arm reaches up and over to the left Rotate, point your nose to your left knee, reach both arms towards your left toes. And 
sit up nice and tall. We're gonna spread our legs out into a straddle stretch. Legs turn into a V shape and reach your hands forward in front of you in that empty space between your legs. Trying to hinge forward with a flat back as much as possible and then rounding. Big stretch for the insides of your legs. Sit up nice and tall. We go into our forward fold before we repeat that again. So legs together, reach for your toes, forward fold. Deep breaths, releasing each time. Sitting up nice and tall, seated, butterfly is next. Soles of your feet, bottoms of your feet together. We repeat this flow one more time through. Bottoms of your feet together, knees pointed out to each side, hinging forward at the waist. Play a little bit with the distance your feet are from your body, how far out your knees are pointing, how far you're hinging forward. Find your sweet spot. up and let's extend our right leg long right arm goes down by your right leg left arm which is up and over to the right rotate Nose points towards right knee, both hands reach towards right toes. And release, let's switch. Right leg comes in, left leg goes long. Left arm goes down by your left leg, right arm goes up and over to the left. Rotate, point your nose to your left knee, both hands reach towards left toes. Sit up nice and tall, seated straddle stretch, legs into a V shape, reaching both hands forward into the empty space in front of you, hinging forward at the waist before you round your back. Come into your forward fold. Reach towards your toes. And release. I want to try a new stretch with you all, so bear with me and ask questions if you need. 
Um, this is another spine twist stretch. So for this one, you actually need to be on the front side of your body and your um, right arm will go to a T and you'll have your left palm on the ground by your left shoulder, your elbows bent. You bend your left leg to point to, then you push your, push through your left palm and you wanna bring your left foot back behind your right leg onto the ground. Um, only twisting as far as is comfortable. So from your laying down position, you push through your left palm, left foot taps behind right leg and this is a shoulder opener as well as a spine twist because your right shoulder is being forced to open. This can be really intense, but only go as far as is comfortable. And then release left arm to a T, right palm face down by your shoulder. Push through your right palm, bend your right leg, right toes. Try to touch the ground behind your left leg. So your hips, your right hip is off the ground. Left shoulder opener, spine twist. and come out of that. We are going to get into our tabletop position. Hands underneath shoulders, knees underneath hips. Widen your knees, bring your toes together, sink your bottom back, child's pose. So bottom to heels, reaching your arms forward, trying to bring your chest and your forehead towards the ground. The opposition between you pushing your hips and your bottom back towards your heels and your arms reaching forward. From here, take your your right hand and work it right and then take your left hand and put it on top of your right hand so you have a little bit of a side bend and then walk your hands back to center sitting here for a little bit before we twist over to the left Walk your hands left, left hand goes to the left, right hand stacks on top of your left hand, sinking your bottom back to deepen the stretch. Now work your way back to center into your child's pose. Nice deep breaths. Reach your hands a bit further. Sink your bottom back a little bit deeper. And you choose your final relaxation pose, whether you want to stay in child's pose, whether you want to be seated, whether you want to lay down on the ground. You choose Take these last few moments for you, focusing on your breaths. Big inhales, hold it for a few seconds before you exhale.
with every exhale you take, you release tension, you release your shoulders, anything else that's pulling you in a different direction. Release any thoughts, racing thoughts with every exhale. Getting deeper in your breath. If you would like to take this moment to quickly tense all of the muscles in your body, your face, your fingers, your arms, your legs, your core, your back, your toes. Hold that tension for a few seconds and then release it all at the same time. And just feel a rush of relief, a rush of relaxation as you sink into the ground. Feel free to stay where you're at. I'm going to stop 